Probably one of the biggest adventures I've ever had was my visit at the Pacific Coast in Colombia, the country of Choco, in a small village called Nuki. First of all, it doesn't matter into how many tourist guides you look, none of them will contain any information about Colombia's wild Pacific Coast. I was very lucky to know two Colombian families very close due to the German exchange their children went to at my family back home in Germany, of which one of their dads is a pilot. He regularly flies small propeller airplanes into the most isolated areas of the country, including Nuki, of which he highly recommended us to visit. There are no streets to the Pacific. The jungle fills large and inaccessible parts of the country. We so took a small propeller aircraft machine and flew over the wild jungle for about an hour before we landed in Nuki, which counts about 3,000 inhabitants. The majority of population there is Afro-Colombians, but yet though there is still a big part of indigenous tribes. Because no streets lead to the Pacific, they have no streets as well as cars. People live in self-built, sparsely built wooden or metallic houses that are more just like shelters, not really houses. They don't have any tourism at all because it's so hard to get there, which is also a reason why you can't find any information about it in any guides, and people there don't speak English. We took a small boat from there the next morning, which only departs in Nuki three times a week, that took us further up the coast for about one hour into the smallest, most isolated but most beautiful piece of earth I've ever been to. With about a hundred heads living there, the wildest jungle behind and the blue ocean in front, people are living in self-made bamboo huts. They live from day to day with only what they need to survive. The men will go out onto the ocean before the sun is rising in the morning and they will come back with fish which the entire family then will help to collect and cook. The rest of the day they will sleep in their hammocks and smoke relaxing herbs. Being shown around by two guys our age living there, they walked us through the jungle to massive cascades that will end pool into pool with each other. They showed us the most beautiful beaches and culinary experience of wild fruit and freshly fished and cooked fish. With only the ocean on one side, that leads on to almost black sanded beaches that then directly end into the jungle, you are all alone. Even though they do not have any running electricity, only a generator that works with sunlight, no internet, no luxus, barely nothing, these people were some of the friendliest and happiest people I've ever met in my entire life, living in paradise.